The front door creaked open, and Charlotte looked up from the book she was reading, expecting to see her husband, Josh, returning from work. However, the air in the room shifted as she saw him walk in, not alone, but with a young woman clinging to his arm. A shockwave of disbelief and confusion surged through Charlotte as she registered the sight before her. Josh, she stammered, her voice barely audible, the book slipping from her hands to the floor. The young woman with him, Emily, barely 23, wore a smirk that seemed out of place in their family home. Without a hint of hesitation, Josh dropped the bombshell, his words hanging in the air like a dense fog. Charlotte, we need to talk. I'm divorcing you. Emily is going to be living here now. This house is hers. The room felt colder, the warmth that Charlotte had known in her marriage evaporating into thin air. Her heart pounded in her chest, and the disbelief mingled with a rising tide of panic. You can't be serious, she managed to utter, her voice barely above a whisper. Josh laughed, a sound that now seemed foreign and callous. Oh, I am very serious. It's been a long time coming. You just never saw it. The young woman, Emily, leaned against him, looking Charlotte over with an air of triumph. He's tired of you, Charlotte. It's obvious, she added, her tone dripping with disdain. The scene felt surreal, like a bad dream Charlotte couldn't wake up from. The calmness that enveloped her was more out of shock than composure. So, this is it. You're throwing away our marriage, our family, for her. Charlotte's voice, tinged with a bitterness she didn't know she possessed, echoed in the room. Josh retorted dismissively, family. Please, don't be so dramatic. It's not like we were happy. And yes, for Emily, she understands me, unlike you. Charlotte felt the sting of his words, each one a betrayal. Amidst the pain, a sense of clarity began to take hold. Richard was showing his true colors, and they were ugly and callous. You're willing to destroy everything for a fling. Charlotte questioned, her voice steadier now. Fling. Oh, Charlotte, it's much more than that. Emily is my future, and you, you're just the past, he said, the coldness in his eyes sending shivers down her spine. The days that followed were a blur for Charlotte, her mind filled with images of Josh and Emily, their laughter echoing in her ears. Amidst the turmoil, a plan began to take shape. She couldn't let Josh walk away unscathed. This wasn't just about the house or the marriage, it was about justice. As Charlotte navigated through the emotional turmoil, Emily's presence in their home became a constant reminder of the betrayal. One evening, as Charlotte passed by the living room, she overheard Emily talking on the phone. I can't believe he was with her for so long. You must feel like a fool, Emily's voice dripped with condescension, making Charlotte wince. You have no idea. He said he's finally free, that I'm just holding him back, Josh's voice sounded distant, almost regretful. Charlotte clenched her fists, struggling to control her emotions. She couldn't let them see her weakness. In the kitchen, Emily approached Charlotte, a smirk playing on her lips. Charlotte, dear, you really should move out soon. We need to start fresh without any remnants of the past. Charlotte, her eyes narrowed, retorted, you may have the house for now, but you can't erase the years we spent building a life here. Emily laughed, a mocking sound that fueled Charlotte's determination. Building a life more like trapping him in a mundane existence. He's found excitement with me. With a deep breath, Charlotte composed herself, refusing to let Emily's words penetrate her resolve. Excitement fades, Emily. What you have now is built on the ruins of my life, and ruins can't sustain anything for long. As the days passed, Charlotte's home felt like a battleground of emotions. One evening, as she sat alone in the dimly lit living room, the phone rang, displaying Josh's name. A mixture of reluctance and curiosity compelled her to answer. 
Charlotte, you need to understand. This isn't easy for me either, Josh's voice sounded strained. Easy for you. You walked in here with another woman and declared our marriage over. You made it easy for yourself, Charlotte replied, her tone cold and resolute. Emily is just a phase. I thought I could find happiness with her, but it's not what I expected, Josh admitted, a hint of regret coloring his words. You chose this path, Josh. Now you have to live with the consequences, Charlotte said, her voice steady. I won't let you rewrite our history or turn our years into a mere footnote in your life. As she hung up, Charlotte felt a surge of empowerment. The echoes of mockery would not define her instead, they fueled her determination to emerge stronger from the wreckage of her shattered marriage. Determined to take control of her situation, Charlotte sought the expertise of divorce lawyer, Miss Brooks. The small law office smelled of leather-bound books and the faint scent of coffee as Charlotte anxiously waited for the lawyer to review her case. Miss Brooks, a middle-aged woman with a sharp gaze and a no-nonsense demeanor, looked up from Charlotte's case file. Charlotte, you're not alone in this. We'll ensure that justice is served. Now, tell me everything. Charlotte recounted the unwelcome homecoming, the betrayal, and the subsequent mockery by Emily. Miss Brooks listened intently, jotting down notes and occasionally nodding, her expression growing more serious with each detail. After a moment of silence, Miss Brooks looked up, her eyes sharp. Charlotte, you have grounds for a strong case. The house and the land it stands on are legally intertwined with your rights. We can use this to your advantage. Relieved yet determined, Charlotte asked, what's the plan, Miss Brooks? The lawyer leaned forward, her hands steepled in front of her. First, we need to establish your rightful claim to the property. It's not just about the house, it's about the land that was inherited solely in your name. Josh can't simply give it away. As the legal strategy unfolded, Charlotte felt a surge of empowerment. The law, she realized, was on her side. In a subsequent meeting, Miss Brooks reviewed the details of the case with Charlotte. Richard thinks he can just replace you and walk away with everything. Not on my watch, Miss Brooks declared, her tone laced with determination. We need to make it clear that the house and the land are not his to give, Miss Brooks continued, her fingers tapping against the legal document spread out on the table. Charlotte, stealing herself for the fight ahead, replied, I won't let him discard me like yesterday's newspaper. I want him to understand the consequences of his actions. Miss Brooks nodded approvingly. Good. We'll draft the divorce papers with precision, ensuring your rights are front and center. But remember, Charlotte, this isn't just about the legal battle, it's personal. We need to hit where it hurts the most. In the subsequent weeks, Charlotte and Miss Brooks meticulously prepared the legal groundwork, anticipating Richard's reactions. As they finalized the divorce papers, Miss Brooks remarked, this is your chance to turn the tables, Charlotte. Show him that you won't back down. Charlotte, signing the papers with a mix of sadness and resolve, whispered to herself, this is not the end. It's the beginning of my fight for dignity, for my child, and for what's rightfully mine. With the legal strategy in place, Charlotte embarked on a journey where she would confront the echoes of betrayal and fight for justice in the face of her husband's callous actions. Armed with the legal knowledge provided by Miss Brooks, Charlotte initiated the legal proceedings with a sense of determination, serving Josh and Emily an eviction notice. The ominous document, prepared by her lawyer, stated unequivocally that the house and the land were not Josh's to give away. In the midst of the legal battle, Josh attempted to sway the situation, reaching out to Charlotte with pleas and manipulative messages. One evening, as she received another call from him, she decided to answer, her voice firm. What do you want, Josh? Charlotte questioned, her patience wearing thin. Josh's voice came through, a mixture of frustration and desperation. Charlotte, you can't do this. 
We can talk about this. There has to be another way. Charlotte, her resolve unwavering, responded, another way. You've made your choices, Josh. Now you have to face the consequences. I won't let you take what you want without repercussions. This is ridiculous. You're doing this to get back at me, aren't you? Josh accused, his frustration boiling over. Charlotte remained calm but resolute. It's not about revenge, Josh. It's about justice. You can't just discard everything without facing the consequences of your actions. The conversation ended with a tense silence, and Charlotte felt a surge of power. For too long, she had allowed Josh to dictate the terms of their lives, but now the tables were turned. She was in control, and she wouldn't relent until justice was served. In the subsequent weeks, the legal battle intensified. Miss Brooks, with her ruthless efficiency, navigated through the complexities of the case, ensuring Charlotte's rights were protected at every turn. Josh, fueled by his ego, launched desperate attempts to salvage the situation, but with each move, he entangled himself further into the web of his own making. As Charlotte prepared for the final court hearing, Miss Brooks warned her about the challenges ahead. Richard is going to fight dirty, Charlotte. You need to be prepared for that. I know, Charlotte replied, stealing herself. But I have something he doesn't know about, the land this house is on. It's mine, inherited from my father. Miss Brooks's eyes lit up with approval. That changes everything. He can't claim the house without the land. We can serve him an eviction notice. The idea of Josh and Emily receiving an eviction notice from the home they thought was theirs brought a bitter sense of satisfaction to Charlotte. It was more than just a legal move it was a statement. She was not going to be discarded and forgotten. Let's do it, Charlotte said firmly, ready to face the next phase of her empowered pursuit for justice. The battle was far from over. But with the law on her side and the knowledge that the house was rightfully hers, Charlotte approached the impending confrontation with a renewed sense of strength. The courtroom, adorned in somber tones, served as the battleground for Charlotte's fight for justice. The final confrontation between her and Josh unfolded, both parties flanked by their legal representatives. As the proceedings commenced, Charlotte felt a mix of nervous anticipation and steely determination. Miss Brooks, representing Charlotte, presented the case with precision, highlighting the legal intricacies that secured Charlotte's claim to the house and the land. On the other side, Josh's lawyer attempted to muddy the waters, painting a picture of a scorned wife seeking revenge. During the cross-examination, Josh's lawyer questioned Charlotte, attempting to undermine her credibility. Isn't it true, Mrs. Turner, that your marriage was already falling apart? This eviction notice is just your way of getting back at Mr. Turner for moving on. Charlotte, maintaining her composure, responded, My marriage may have had its challenges, but the law is clear about the property rights. This is not about revenge it's about holding him accountable for his actions. As the legal battle intensified, Charlotte couldn't ignore the gravity of the situation. Miss Brooks worked diligently to ensure that every legal loophole was closed, while Josh's desperation became more evident with each passing day. One evening, as Charlotte reviewed some documents in Miss Brooks's office, her phone buzzed with a message from Josh, an invitation for a meeting. Against her better judgment, Charlotte agreed. The meeting would be a face-to-face -face confrontation, not as husband and wife, but as adversaries in a war that neither had anticipated. In a quiet cafe, Josh looked haggard, the strain of the situation etched deep lines on his face. Charlotte, meeting his gaze with unwavering eyes, awaited the explanation she knew she might never receive. Charlotte, thank you for coming. We need to sort this out, Josh began, his voice shaky. Sort this out. You mean find a way for you to weasel out of the consequences? Charlotte replied, her tone cold and determined. He leaned forward, desperation evident in his eyes. I know I've made mistakes, 
but this. This is too much. You're taking everything from me, everything. Charlotte remained unmoved. No, Josh. I'm taking back what's mine. You made your choice when you decided to betray our family. Now, I'm making mine. The cafe atmosphere grew heavy with the weight of their unresolved issues. This is madness. You're going to leave me homeless over some petty revenge. Josh argued, frustration in his voice. Petty. You call destroying our family petty. Charlotte shot back. This isn't about revenge, Josh. It's about consequences. Your actions have them, and now you're facing them. A moment of silence hung between them, the tension palpable. Josh finally spoke, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Seeing me suffer. It's not about enjoyment, Josh. It's about justice. You need to understand that every action has a consequence, and this, Charlotte paused, this is yours. As she hung up, Charlotte felt a mixture of relief and empowerment. For too long, she had allowed Josh to dictate their lives, but now she was fighting back, and the law was on her side. The following days unfolded as a chess game of legal maneuvers and emotional confrontations. Richard, caught off guard by the eviction notice, launched into a series of desperate attempts to sway the situation. However, with each move, he only entangled himself further into the web of his own making. As the legal battle raged on, the reality of his situation seemed to dawn on Josh. His calls became less frequent, his voice less assured. The man who had once held all the power in their relationship was now scrambling to salvage what little he could from the ruins he had created. In the midst of the chaos, Emily's presence in the background of this drama became a constant reminder of the catalyst for all of this. However, Charlotte knew her part in Josh's story was coming to an end. She was just another pawn in his game, and soon she would realize it too. The battle was far from over, and Charlotte prepared herself for the challenges that lay ahead. The courtroom drama had just begun, and she was determined to see it through to the end, fueled by the knowledge that justice was within reach. As the legal battle unfolded, Emily found herself increasingly distanced from the life she thought she had secured with Josh. The once confident young woman began to feel the strain of the situation, and doubts crept into her mind. One evening, as she and Josh sat in the living room, the atmosphere was tense. Emily, fidgeting with her fingers, finally broke the uneasy silence. Josh, is this worth it? I mean, the house and all. It feels like everything's falling apart. Josh, exhausted from the legal proceedings and the unraveling of his once secure plans, sighed deeply. Emily, we knew this wouldn't be easy. But once the legal mess is sorted, we'll have the life we planned. Josh, I thought this was about love, not legal battles and eviction notices. I don't want to live in a house stained with so much drama, Emily confessed, her voice tinged with uncertainty. He looked at her, realizing the toll their actions were taking. Emily, we just need to hold on a bit longer. Once we have the house, everything will settle down. We'll be happy together. As the weeks passed, Emily's affection waned, and her distance from Josh became more apparent. She spent less time at the house, seeking solace elsewhere. One day, as Josh questioned her about her whereabouts, she responded with an air of detachment, I need some space, Josh. This whole situation is overwhelming. He tried to reassure her, once we win the case, we'll have all the space and freedom we need. Charlotte won't be a part of our lives anymore. But Emily, realizing the reality of their predicament, shook her head. Josh, I don't know if I signed up for all this drama. I thought we'd have a fresh start, not a war zone. The final straw came when the eviction notice arrived, a stark reminder that the home she thought would be hers was slipping away. Emily confronted Josh, her frustration evident. I thought you said this would be simple. Now we're getting evicted. 
what did we get ourselves into? Josh, scrambling to maintain control, tried to reassure her. Emily, trust me, this is just a legal formality. We'll still have the house. It's just a setback. But Emily, no longer willing to play the pawn in their tumultuous game, shook her head. I can't do this, Josh. I can't be part of a life built on lies and legal battles. I thought we'd find happiness together, but I'm not so sure anymore. With those words, Emily made her decision. She packed her belongings, leaving the house that was supposed to be hers. As she walked away, she cast a last glance at Josh, the weight of their actions heavy in the air. Josh, left alone in the home that was becoming more of a burden than a sanctuary, realized the consequences of his choices. The woman he thought would be the key to his happiness had walked away, leaving him to face the repercussions of a battle he had initiated. As Emily's departure echoed through the empty halls of the house, the reality of their situation hit Josh hard. The love he thought would conquer all had crumbled under the weight of betrayal and legal turmoil. The battle for the house became a lonely one, and he was left to confront the consequences of his actions without the solace of the relationship he had hoped to build with Emily. The courtroom buzzed with tension as the day of the final hearing arrived. Charlotte, flanked by Miss Brooks, sat resolute, ready to face the culmination of weeks of legal battles. On the other side, Josh appeared increasingly worn, his demeanor a stark contrast to the arrogance he had displayed at the beginning of their conflict. Miss Brooks presented the evidence meticulously, dismantling any argument Josh's lawyer attempted to put forward. Charlotte, watching the proceedings, felt a mixture of nerves and determination. The stakes were high, and the outcome would decide the fate of the home she had fought so hard to protect. As the cross-examination unfolded, Josh's lawyer, with a hint of frustration, questioned Charlotte. Mrs. Turner, do you deny that your marriage was already falling apart before Mr. Turner made the decision to end it? Charlotte, meeting the lawyer's gaze with steely determination, replied, yes, our marriage had its challenges, but that doesn't negate the fact that the property rights are legally mine. This isn't about the state of our marriage, it's about the law. The courtroom murmured with anticipation as the legal battle reached its pinnacle. Miss Brooks, seizing the moment, argued, Your Honor, the house and the land were inherited solely by Mrs. Turner. Mr. Turner has no legal claim to give away what is rightfully hers. We request the eviction notice to be upheld. Josh's lawyer, realizing the legal ground slipping away, made a last-ditch effort. Your Honor, Mr. Turner acknowledges his mistakes, but tearing apart his home will only cause further pain. We ask for leniency and a fair resolution. The judge, after careful consideration, delivered the verdict. Based on the legal evidence presented, it is clear that Mrs. Turner has a rightful claim to the property. The eviction notice is upheld, and Mr. Turner is to vacate the premises within the stipulated time. The courtroom erupted in a hushed murmur as the reality of the judgment settled in. Charlotte, though victorious, felt a mix of emotions, relief, sadness, and a sense of closure. The legal battle had come to an end, but the scars of the emotional turmoil lingered. After the hearing, as Charlotte stepped out of the courtroom, Josh approached her, his expression a blend of defeat and regret. Charlotte, can we talk? Just for a moment. Charlotte, her guard still up, agreed reluctantly. They found a quiet corner outside the courthouse where Josh began, I never wanted it to come to this, Charlotte. I made mistakes, and I regret them deeply. She looked at him, her eyes searching for sincerity. Regret doesn't change the past, Josh. This was a consequence of your actions. We can't undo what's been done. He sighed, I never meant for it to end like this. I thought I could find happiness, but I've lost everything. Charlotte, her tone softened, responded, sometimes, we have to face the consequences of our choices. 
It's time for both of us to move forward separately. As they parted ways, Charlotte felt a sense of closure. The final showdown was over, and she could now reclaim her life and the home that had been a battleground for far too long. The victory in the courtroom was not just about the property it was about reclaiming her dignity and asserting that she wouldn't be discarded without a fight. The chapter of legal battles closed, paving the way for a new beginning for Charlotte. With the courtroom battle concluded, Charlotte walked away with a victorious verdict, but the taste of triumph was bittersweet. As she left the courthouse, a mixture of relief and sorrow washed over her. The legal victory had been hard fought, and the toll on her emotions was evident. Miss Brooks, walking alongside her, offered words of consolation. You did it, Charlotte. Justice has been served. It's time to move forward. Charlotte nodded, appreciating the support, but the weight of the emotional scars lingered. I know, Miss Brooks. It's just. It's not easy letting go of what was supposed to be a life together. Miss Brooks placed a comforting hand on Charlotte's shoulder. He made his choices, and you stood up for yourself. Now, you can reclaim your life on your terms. In the aftermath of the legal victory, Josh, left with the repercussions of his actions, reached out to Charlotte one last time. His voice, a mixture of regret and resignation, echoed through the phone. Charlotte, it's Josh. Can we talk? I need to say something, he pleaded. Charlotte, reluctant but curious, agreed to meet him in a neutral setting. As they sat in a quiet cafe, the atmosphere was heavy with the weight of unspoken words. Josh, looking defeated, started, Charlotte, I never wanted it to come to this. I made mistakes, and I regret them deeply. Charlotte, maintaining a firm composure, replied, regret won't change what happened, Josh. We each have to bear the consequences of our choices. He sighed, a heaviness in his words. I thought I could find happiness, but I've lost everything, our family, our home. Charlotte, her gaze steady, responded, the choices you made led us here. It's time for both of us to find our own paths, as they parted ways, Charlotte couldn't ignore the twinge of empathy she felt for the man who was once her husband. The victory in court had come at a price, and the aftermath was a stark reminder that, despite the legal triumph, wounds of the heart took longer to heal. In the days that followed, Charlotte focused on rebuilding her life. The house, now legally and emotionally hers, became a symbol of resilience. As she walked through the rooms, memories of the battles fought within those walls lingered, but so did a sense of triumph. The victory brought closure, but it also brought a wave of introspection. Charlotte realized that, in the pursuit of justice, there were casualties on both sides. The family she had once known was forever altered, and the road ahead was one of rediscovery. In the quiet moments, as Charlotte surveyed her new beginning, she couldn't help but wonder if victory and regret were inseparable companions. The legal battles had been won, but the emotional scars ran deep. As she embraced the uncertainties of the future, one thing was certain, Charlotte had emerged from the tumult stronger, wiser, and ready to script the next chapter of her life. In the wake of the legal victory and the emotional toll it took, Charlotte found herself at a crossroads. The house, now officially hers, stood as both a fortress of strength and a repository of memories. As she navigated the rooms, the echo of past battles served as a reminder of the resilience that brought her to this point. Determined to embrace the prospect of a new beginning, Charlotte decided to make the house her own. She rearranged the furniture, adorned the walls with art that spoke to her, and planted flowers in the garden, a symbolic act of cultivating beauty from the ashes of turmoil. Miss Brooks, sensing Charlotte's need for closure, visited the transformed home. You've turned this place into a sanctuary, Charlotte. A testament to your strength. Charlotte, appreciating the sentiment, replied, it's time to let go of the past and create a space for a new chapter. The battles may have shaped me, but they won't define me. 
As Charlotte settled into her redecorated home, she received an unexpected visitor, Emily. The young woman, once entangled in the chaos, stood at the doorway with a hesitant expression. Charlotte, I know things got messy, and I played a part in it. I just wanted to say. I'm sorry, Emily admitted, a sincerity in her eyes. Charlotte, surprised by the gesture, nodded. Thank you, Emily. It's been a challenging journey for all of us. I hope you find the peace you're looking for. Emily, realizing the gravity of the situation, added, I never wanted to hurt anyone. It's just time for me to move on and learn from this mess. The exchange marked a moment of closure between two women who had found themselves on opposing sides of a tumultuous battle. As Emily left, Charlotte couldn't help but acknowledge the complexities of forgiveness and the potential for redemption. In the midst of these transformations, Charlotte received a call from Miss Brooks. Charlotte, there's someone interested in the house. A potential buyer. A mix of emotions surged within Charlotte, the prospect of letting go and the anticipation of starting anew. The potential buyer, a woman named Sarah, walked through the house, admiring its newfound charm. This place has character. It feels like a home, Sarah remarked, her eyes scanning the carefully curated rooms. Charlotte, ready to turn the page, responded, I hope it brings you as much joy as it brought me. It's time for a fresh start. As the paperwork for the sale commenced, Charlotte couldn't escape a sense of liberation. The house, once a battleground, was now a vessel for someone else's dreams. In the process of letting go, she found a renewed sense of self. With each step into the future, Charlotte carried the lessons of the past. The battles, victories, and regrets had sculpted her into a woman with newfound strength and resilience. As the door closed on one chapter, she embraced the blank pages that lay ahead, ready to script a story of her own making. As the sale of the house to Sarah finalized, Charlotte stood in the now nearly empty rooms, feeling a mix of emotions. The echoes of the battles fought within those walls seemed to dissipate, making room for the promise of closure and peace. Miss Brooks, her legal companion throughout the tumultuous journey, joined her for one last time. It's been quite a ride, Charlotte. You faced the storm and emerged stronger. The closure you sought is within reach. Charlotte, surveying the emptied rooms, nodded. Yes, it's time. The house served its purpose, a battlefield where I fought for my rights. Now, it's someone else's canvas to paint their dreams. As Sarah, the new owner, took possession of the keys, she turned to Charlotte with gratitude. Thank you for entrusting me with this home. I can feel the strength and resilience embedded in its walls. Charlotte smiled, a genuine warmth in her eyes. May it bring you joy and peace, Sarah. It's time for me to embrace a new chapter. The process of closure extended beyond the physical walls of the house. Charlotte sought one final meeting with Josh, a gesture aimed at finding a semblance of peace amidst the ruins of their broken marriage. They met in a neutral location, a park where memories of their happier times lingered. Josh, his demeanor subdued, began, Charlotte, I never wanted things to turn out this way. I've lost so much, and I've had time to reflect on the pain I caused. Charlotte, her gaze steady, acknowledged, we both made mistakes, Josh. This meeting is not about blame but about finding closure. It's time for both of us to move forward separately. He sighed, a sense of regret evident in his words. I never imagined our story ending like this. If I could go back and change things, I would. Charlotte, her voice firm yet compassionate, replied, We can't change the past, Josh. What we can do is learn from it and build a better future for ourselves. As they parted ways, Charlotte felt a weight lifting off her shoulders. The chapter of legal battles, emotional turmoil, and a tumultuous marriage was officially closed. The road ahead held the promise of a newfound peace. 
In the quietude that followed, Charlotte took a moment to reflect on the tumultuous journey she had navigated. The legal battles, the emotional scars, and the victories had shaped her into a woman of resilience. As she embraced the peace that came with closure, Charlotte found solace in the realization that her story was far from over. The epilogue of her tale unfolded as she stood in a park, watching the sun set on the horizon. The shadows of the past slowly gave way to the tranquility of the present. The battles were won, the regrets acknowledged, and now, in the fading light, Charlotte found herself ready to script the next chapter of her life, a chapter filled with self-discovery, resilience, and the promise of a peaceful future.